This is the tail of two, of the BBC Two identification logo. It's not so long ago that BBC Two was presented like this. Or this. Or until 1991, like this. So how was TWO elbowed aside by the wonderful Two? I realised it was a problem almost as soon as I took over the channel. It, it was obvious that the logo made absolutely no impact. In fact, it was something anyone could have told you. It was singularly unmemorable. And it told you nothing about the personality of the channel. So we decided to commission a corporate design company uh, to do some research. When the research came back, we were really surprised because what it told us was that, that the audience thought BBC Two was dull and worthy which is a bit of a shock to everybody involved. So how did they set about changing people's perceptions? They invented an entirely new two, more in step with the programmes themselves and with a personality all its own. Hopefully witty, decidedly unusual. We took this two, actually, and then you think to yourself, well, there's nothing special about this. Well, there is something special about this, actually. It's a very distinctive two. It has very sharp bits on it, and it's rather nice and fat. <laughs> The reason we wanted that particular two is because we wanted to do things with it. And so you need lots of two, lots of body on the two, in order to achieve that. The familiar greeny-blue colour was featured in the very first batch of twos and became a standard component in subsequent designs to aid identification. But never mind the colour, how did they do this? Well, they turned the camera and the Model 2 on their sides and then filmed paint dropping from a height so that when the film was played the right way up, it appeared to hurtle in from the side. Simple when you know how, but the latest episode in the tale of two needed a more complicated setup to produce a steaming two. As well as the idea of the, the surprise of the water turning into steam on an object which didn't look hot, we also wanted to actually have the water coming from every angle. Yeah, and that was the main problem, really getting some kind of a rig which allowed it to us to release water on cue. Um, and we've come up with quite an amazing Heath Robinson device, I think. The drops of water are controlled by opening and closing a system of valves so that they splash down on cue. The camera lens is in the centre of the action, but it's shielded from the water, and this is what it sees. Another new ident hot off the press is called Diary. The final piece may be on screen for only a few seconds, but it took days to produce. And go. Basically, we have a piece of fish wire which is attached to the two with an undercurrent of air, so when we pull it, the actual two will come forward on a jet of air. The original aim was to pull ten twos off in rapid succession, but things got in a bit of a tangle. And we ended up with a lot of cross wires even doing it on this way, but with ten of them it was just like a sort of down at the lake on Sunday with everyone's rods going in, it was impossible to coordinate. So they cheated. They repeated the original shot over and over again. But how the twos were filmed is not the whole story. Every two has sound effects or specially composed music behind it. How are these created? Perhaps not exactly how you'd expect. The music for each two was inspired by a particular theme. We came up with a fantasy for silk, which was uh, a seascape. And the, the silk became billowing waves, and the two became a, a sunken ship, complete with uh, piping aboard. And, and a, uh, a ship's bell way underneath yes, the and, ocean. And ghostly feelings like whales in the water. Our fantasy about Firecracker was that this was a, a heath after a battle and you know, there's heather and there's smoke and uh, we, we wanted a deep orchestral texture for that and then the Firecracker itself we decided was rather Chinese so we used some Chinese opera gongs and then to counteract that rather alarming violent feeling we got a little wind chime and played a waltz right the way through it. 
Once all the instruments had been recorded, the sounds were fed into a computer which combined them to create the final effect. So how successful has the new look been? Six months after the first research, they tested the audience reaction. The results were absolutely phenomenal because all the negatives that came out in the first start of research, you know, about uh, dull and worthy, had disappeared entirely. And it was all, you know, sophisticated and witty and amusing and all these kind of words started coming out. And back at the Beeb, how do they feel about the two they've unleashed? We feel it's taken on quite a character of its own. It's sort of started to come alive. We see it as the hero of the piece. Um, and it's definitely got its own little character. I think people love the two, you know, it has uh, lots of fan mail, it has correspondence, and uh, we will definitely be renewing its contract. <laughs>